me, um, I always wanted to prove myself. You know, it, I wanted to prove that it wasn't a fluke, that I didn't get 92 points or where the points are was because, you know, I love my team, so it wasn't because it's just my teammates. You know, it's because I have the ability to do it. And I always wanted to go back and prove that next year that those 94 points weren't a fluke, that I'm going to get more this year. And if by getting more, if I have to improve my stick skills, my shooting percentage, uh, my outside shot, my inside shot, my hands, you know, if I can get five more ground balls, that's five more opportunities to score a goal. You know, so for me, it was I just always wanted to prove to myself and I guess the people around me that last year wasn't a fluke, that this is how it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to be up here leading the country in points because I put the time in for it. You know, so I just always wanted to come back and I always wanted to prove that, you know, it wasn't just given to me, that I earned it and it should be happening. You know, maybe a part of that is because like my dad was a coach and I didn't want to think that any awards I got or any all marks I got was because of my last name. So I always wanted to kind of have that ability like, I want to come back and, you know, I did this because of me. You know, I actually kind of felt that in high school as well when I was an American my sophomore year in high school and there was people talking like, oh, we just got that because his dad coaches at Hofstra. You know, so my junior year, I wanted to prove to kids that, listen, this has nothing to do with my dad. It's because I'm out there and I'm scoring goals and I'm getting assists and my team is beating yours. You know, that's why that these awards are coming to me, not because of my last name, it's because I earned it. So it was always that kind of fuel with inside me, like I'm going to go prove these people wrong who um, who either doubting me or just you know talking about me.